collection silo allows grain to be stored in the best possible conditions. Located in Samsu, in the Marne department, Vivesia's grain silo can hold 43,500 tons. It optimizes the cooperative's logistics and service to farmers. The first step of a delivery consists in weighing and inspecting the grain. Several samples are taken directly from the trailer to analyze the grain and check compliance with Vivesia's quality criteria. The goods are then emptied into one of the two receiving pits, which have a capacity of up to 250 tons per hour. The grain is sent from the pit to an elevator that takes it up to the top of the silo. Once it reaches the top floor, the grain falls through the cleaner separators, which remove small and large impurities using sieves of very The dust generated throughout the process is removed using an aspiration system. This dust-filled air is first filtered before being expelled outside. The impurities and dust are sent to the Whitfield pit located outside the silo. After processing, these by-products can be sold to various industries. As well as the cleaner's separators, a grading machine can also be used to separate grains based on their size and shape. This is the case with brewing barley. The grain is then sent directly to the storage cells. Thermometric equipment is used to continuously measure the grain's temperature and ensure ideal storage conditions. Warm air is sucked outside to lower the grain's temperature for optimum storage conditions. From their control post, the silo manager coordinates operations and monitors storage conditions. Then, the expedition phase starts for the execution of a sale. Compliance with the customer's specifications is ensured. The cells are emptied from the bottom and the grain is moved towards the elevator, then stored in loading hoppers or silos. The lorry is inspected for cleanliness and positioned under one of the loading pipes. The lorry is loaded under the operator's control. Once the lorry is fully loaded, it is weighed and sampled again for a final inspection. The lorry is covered and the haulier can then carry out the delivery.